Hi all, welcome back. In this part, I shall take one step further to explain the use of Postman app for sending the post, put and delete request to the web API that we have built in the first three parts, that is the books API with the MongoDB NoSQL and ASP.NET Core. Now, we have left the at the following JSON output when you browse to the URL. So what where we left was like this. Uh, let me open the application and run it. So it was like this, you know, this is a JSON output having a few fields which are being you know, uh, it retrieved from the MongoDB bookstore DB collection that we have explained in the last couple of lectures. So it has got an ID, it has got book name and then price and um, author. Right. So what we are going to do in today's lecture is that, you know, um, Although this tutorial, the original tutorial from Microsoft has ended in the first three parts, there was a request from some of my viewers that whether there will be a part four of this tutorial. And I also felt the need of putting up a further video tutorial showing the usage of post, you know, uh, post put and delete request to the web API. Now that application Although it was completed uh, by the documentation, it just sent a uh, retrieve or get request. So it is in the fitness of thing that, you know, I decided to uh, create the postman usage explanation so that you are able to understand how this application can create a request, a new request and modify an existing request and also delete an existing request. So Postman is the app which, is, which they claim that it is a complete API development environment um, and it can be downloaded from a link which I have shown in the video description. So let's start right away. Let's, I have already have the Postman Windows app on my machine and I have actually loaded the desktop app and you can see that this uh, app is showing um, a my workspace and uh, so you can see there is a on the left hand side there is a lot of uh, you know verbs like get post put patch delete so we'll be first testing the get which you've already seen anyway so I have browsed to this URL on my local host and I have given a send request and it shows me it's loading these two items in a pretty view. Okay. So you have got this raw view, it, you have got a preview and it's a good view. This is a pretty view. So it has got an ID, book name, price category and author. Now I wish to create a post, you know. A post request. So for a post request, this will be creating a new book object. Right. So what I will do here is let me give it another ID that was BA9, BAA, maybe BAB or something like that. And say, let this book name be learn C++ pointer through Udemy, a price is whatever, and category computers, and the author is Kaushik Rai Chaudhary. Okay. And let us then send the request, click on the send, you've got a send and download button, and you've got a send button. So let's see what happens. So the status is created. Now this status created says that the request has been fulfilled and resulted in a new resource being created. Now how we can verify that the new resource has been created. Now going back to the get request to retrieve 
the output from the so now you can see that this book object is also added now i wish to change this uh, i wish to make a put request what is put request if you recall the put request you know if you have uh, um, gone through the web and found yourself you know the put verb is used for updating or editing a collection so a record you can say so let me uh, update this instead of learning c++ pointers we'll go for learn uh, so here sorry this is the edit window learn c pointers through udemy and uh, in this put request you need the id parameter to be passed okay so this id parameter is i paste this id parameter and then send it so status no content so that means the 204 response 204 uh, you know uh, means the server successfully processed the request but is not returning any content so you can again verify your changes by putting a sending a get request and what was the get request you just remove the id and send this and the response is you can see it has already changed it has become learn c pointers through udemy so finally we'll see a uh, delete so i have already told the get post and put requests so i'll go for a delete request i would like to delete say this id so you need the id also for delete so this uh, book name with design patterns with the price of 54.93 and a category of computers and author ralph johnson i will delete and then show you the results so copy the uh, id here paste it and then send the request so again no um, the server successfully processed the request so this is status is 204 but is not returning any content so finally we'll also again see the um, output by retrieving all the results from a get request sending a get request to the postman and clicking on send and you can see status is okay and you have got only two items in the collection so the item that i have deleted is no more there so that's it thanks for watching